Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to talk about SuperComNet, technology's Berhard SCOMNet, which has seen its share price fall like a rock since the MCO 3.0 began. It looks attractive at a price of 1 ringgit 46 cents as of 30th July. Before that, remember to subscribe to my channel for more stock analysis. If you follow my channel before, I covered SCOMNET last year when it was around 1 ringgit 65 cent and it hits its historical high of 2 ringgit 38 cent in November last year. Over the last 3 months, thanks to the MCO 3.0, the stock is down some 20%. That is a mighty steep fall, especially for a company which has long term contracts from big American and European companies. Perhaps opportunity has presented itself. Wow. For a little background and clarification, SCOMNET is not just a company that produces products made of wires and cables. It produces complete products for the medical devices, automotive and IT industries. This is one reason why it is able to command high margins. Think of SCOMNET as an EMS player for the medical devices segment. And for more information about the company, please visit the link above me. So why did the share price take a tumble? I believe the poor first quarter result ended March 31st, 2021 was one of the key reasons for its fall in the last few months. This was caused by record high copper prices along with unplanned freight charges due to COVID supply chain issues. Because of this, the company only delivered a net profit of 4.9 million ringgit for Q1 while this was higher than 4.1 million ringgit it did in first quarter of 2020. It was about 30% lower than the 7.4 million it delivered in the fourth quarter of 2020. So yes, margins suffered. However, it's important to note that the revenue for Q1 was only slightly less than 38.3 million ringgit it recorded in Q4 2020. This is also some 30% higher compared to Q1 2020. This shows that SCOMNET is selling a lot more products than it did a year ago and the traction is growing. Okay. Results aside, SCOMNET is very much affected by the work capacity constraints due to the MCO. This is a problem caused by the pandemic and nothing to do with SCOMNET's ability to deliver on what it has set out to do. And currently, I think only 60% of its factory's workers are able to work and this significantly affects its ability to achieve its production for its clients. If the government eventually relaxes the rules and allows SCOMNET to increase the capacity to 80%, I believe it can achieve the production requirements for its clients and this COVID situation is also temporarily and shall eventually pass. More interestingly, a quick check on BOSA, the directors of SCOMNET have been exercising their warrants at a very strange phenomenon considering the warrants only expired on June 19, 2024. This was led by its major shareholder, Mr. Jam Sui, on June 21, 2021. Among other catalysts for financial year 2021, the company has started production for a number of new products for its European clients and they are also in the midst of securing the US FDA approvals for another product from a European client. Currently, SCOMNET has clients globally which include the New York listed Everlife Sizes and Denmark based Ambu. Based in California, Everlife Sizes specializes in artificial heart valve and hemodynamic monitoring. Meanwhile, Ambu develops, produces, and markets single use endoscopy solutions, diagnostics, and life supporting equipment to hospitals, private practices, and rescue services. In view of the increasing contribution from its medical segment, SCOMNET had on 11 January 2021 reclassified its sector from industrial products and services to healthcare to better reflect its current business. The medical device segment had in financial year 2020 
contributed 64% to the group, overtaking the non-medical segment as the main contributor to the group's revenue. It'll be interesting when this ACE market listed company eventually transfers to main market and based on its existing profit track record, it definitely qualifies for a main market transfer and this could serve as a re-rating catalyst to justify its healthcare business. Alright guys, that's all for my sharing today. See you again soon. Bye!